If you've clicked on a video with the title Correct Horse Battery Staple with GUI Pie, you may well be thinking, I know those words, but that sign makes no sense. Allow me to explain. Firstly, GUI Pie is a beginner friendly library for creating graphical user interfaces with Python. Correct Horse Battery Staple is the punchline to an XKCD comic about passwords, in which it suggested that a random four-word phrase is better than a traditional shorter password made up of arbitrary letters, symbols, and numbers, not only because it's more memorable, but that it's also more secure because of… entropy? If you're still confused, pause the video and have a read. Alrighty then, in this tutorial we're going to create an application in Python that generates random passwords in the style of correct horse battery staple. Let's get started! I'm in Visual Studio Code here, with the Python extension installed and the GUI Py library. I'll create a new file called app.py. So let's get the GUI set up first of all. I need to import the GUI Py library, then create the app and main window with a call to GUI Py app, passing in the title of the window. This window is going to be pretty simple, just a single button that generates a random password, which is then displayed in a label. The first widget is a style label that will display the generated password. Unlike a standard label, a style label's font can be customized. I'll set the text of the label to initially read correct horse battery staple, and set the font size to a nice and big 20 points. The second widget is a button that will generate a new password whenever it's pressed. I'll give it the caption, you've already memorized it, as a further homage to the comic, and I'll need to also specify the name of a function that will be called whenever that button is pressed. For the time being I'll set it to none, just so I can see what this will look like. All widgets in GUI Pi need to be arranged in a grid, and for this app the grid is two rows and one column, so I'll define that with a call to app.setGrid. The label will go into row 1 column 1, and the button in row 2 column 1, and both widgets will be centered in the window. The last line of code we need is app.run to launch the main window. Running the code now gives me that initial window with the label and the button as specified. I'll make the app a bit wider to accommodate longer passwords that might be generated, and I'll prevent the ability for the app to be resized vertically. Note that we still can resize it horizontally. Okay, that looks good. In order to generate a random password, we're going to need a list of random words. Thankfully, GitHub user Hugsy has us covered, with a list of nouns and adjectives in a plain text file. I'm going to save these to the project directory, and then in the code I'll create two lists of words. One for nouns and one for adjectives. Since every individual word is conveniently on its own line, the easiest way to get these words into a list is to open the file, read the entire contents as a big long string, then call the built-in string method splitlines and we'll see if I print that list and its length, then in the console we see each individual word in a list, and there are 1525 of them, which is what we expect looking at the text file. We'll do the same thing with the adjectives file. Let's get to the core function of the app now and make our password. I'll define a function called generatePassword. As this is an event function, it will need to accept an event object as a parameter, and I'll associate that function with the button by replacing that none we used earlier. We're going to need four randomly selected words, so I'll first import the choice method from Python's random library. Calling this method and passing a list returns a randomly selected item from the list. I'm going to say that the first word should be an adjective, the last word should be a noun, and the middle two words could be either. The final password is all four words together, so I'll display that by setting the text property of the label variable, using an f string with each of those four words separated by a space. Save and run the code, and we have a new password generated whenever we click the button. It would be nice to give some context, and it's appropriate to give credit to what inspired this app, so I'm going to add a menu item to the app that will then open a new window with the comic displayed and a link to the comic on the XKCD website. Luckily for us, the creator of XKCD, Randall Munro, releases his comics under a Creative Commons license, so we can use it in our app as long as we give proper attribution and link back to the original comic. If you do want to support Randall, go buy his awesome books! So I've saved the comic as a PNG in the project directory. Back in the code, I'll create a new window and associate it with the main app object, giving it the title About Correct Horse Battery Staple. 
I'll create three widgets that will belong with this window, a label for the description, an image widget for the comic itself, and a hyperlink that will open the comic to its original home on the XKCD website. The grid for this window is three rows and one column for the label, image and hyperlink respectively. I need to write a function to open this window from the main window. This will be an event function, so I need the event parameter, and calling the show method on the about window variable will open it. Back in the main app, I'll call add menu item on the main window, setting the top level menu to help, the menu item itself to about, and finally including the event function I just wrote that will open the about window. When I save and run the code, you can see I've now got a help menu and activating the only item within about launches that second window with the comic and clicking on the hyperlink beneath will launch a browser that will head to the XKCD website. So what more can you do with this app? Perhaps adding the ability to cycle back and forth through generated passwords. Maybe the ability to change individual words or change the number of words in each password. Anyway, despite the fact that every time you click the button on this little app, it will generate one of 17 trillion possible combinations of words, you probably shouldn't use these as actual passwords for anything important. But it's still been a fun little mini project. And if nothing else, we got some amusing four word phrases. After a while, it starts to sound like poetry. Well-informed guidance, empty lead. Low passenger, poultry necessary. And quick designer, unsightly. Go. Passionate. Consist. Freedom distribution. Gray. Flustered. Glad system. Quarterly. Preparation. Distant kill. Polite, snarling, march night. Giant spring belt bunch. Welcome, adventurous, delightful code. Short, caring, mention boat. Canine science, plump wine, precious, happy test.